There are some big high school football games this Friday night. Here are five must-see matchups. We start in Olathe. Last week, it was Olathe North versus Olathe South. This week, you have the top two teams in the city going at it, Olathe East against Olathe North. Both teams out to hand one another their first loss of the season. This is going to be a showdown of top running backs. The top four leading rushers in the Sunflower League are in this game. Olathe North quarterback Victor Simmons is number one, and its running back Adonis Saunders is third. Olathe East running back Brandon Willingham is number two, and Hawks back Austin Folson is number four. But Olathe East usually struggles against Olathe North. Look for the Eagles to take this cross-town rivalry game. Let's head further west in Kansas. Lansing will be traveling to Baser Linwood Friday night. This could determine the Call Valley League title. Both teams enter with undefeated records. Baser Linwood features the Murphy Twins. Collins is the, Colin is the quarterback, and his six foot six brother Ryan is the wide receiver. Nice target. This game could go either way, but with Baser Linwood being at home, I give the Bobcats the edge. Maybe the biggest game of Friday night is Gardner Edgerton at Bishop Miege. If you have a chance, drive over to Reinhard Drive for this one. You'll see the number one ranked team in Kansas, Gardner Edgerton, and it's Bubba Starling, the top quarterback in the area. Plus, you'll catch a Miege team that won the 4A state title last year. I just don't see how the Stags are going to beat Gardner Edgerton. The Trailblazers have so much running power with Starling. Plus, they have running back Ryan Weber and fullback Brett Jensen. Those guys are unstoppable. Both teams have been blowing away their competition this season. Look for a closer game, but a Gardner-Edgerton road victory. Over in Missouri, there's a sweet matchup. Blue Springs is at Fort Osage. Blue Springs does not want to go 1-3, and three, but Fort Osage will make it difficult for the Wildcats to keep that from happening. Fort Osage has a strong defense that shut out Raytown last week. The Indians seem to have great running backs every year. Now they have Jaleel Green. He has Blue Springs coach Kelly Donahoe's attention. Of course, Blue Springs has one of the top running backs in the area, Darian Miller, who should have a big game. Look for Blue Springs to pull this one out. Another big game in Missouri is Lee Summit West at Blue Springs South. This looks like a classic. Lee Summit West head coach Royce Bain called Blue Springs South the best team in the state. The Jaguars could be 3-0 after falling to Rockhurst last week in overtime, but Lee Summit West is also looking good. The Titans are 3-0 and already have a quality win against Ray Peck. But I think Blue Springs South is hungry for a win. The Jags almost beat the number one team in Missouri last week. They have home field advantage against Lee Summit West. They won't disappoint their home crowd. They've had a week to rest up. If this is the, their year, the Jaguars can't lose back-to-back -back weeks, can they? Look for a close Blue Springs South victory. You can catch skylights, highlights, and scores from these games and many more. Just tune in to Football Friday Night with Lance Vieser on NBC Action News at 10.